SEC nautical. Alright guys, here I am, I'm at PL Jones Marina. I'm here with Scott, he's back behind me. And we're gonna take a trip out to the lighthouse uh, just to check on the ladder. Uh, we're not gonna go up in it, we're gonna do that next week with you guys. And uh, Scott's boat's warming up, the weather's not ideal. We're gonna see what we find and have a little adventure. Hey Scott! Alright Scott, tell me about this boat. Oh yeah, this is a uh, 42 foot that we built. This is 20 years old. This is my commercial fishing boat. This is what I work out in the ocean in. Also have a, uh, a pleasure boat that we'll be mainly using the pleasure boat more than this work boat. This work boat will be uh, working out in the ocean down to Wanchi. But, uh, So the three of us started to leave the marina and the sun had just gone down, the wind and rain were picking up, I knew it was coming, and Scott and Caden didn't seem to look worried at all, but as an inexperienced boater, I certainly was. You look like you've done this a few times. We're still in the marina, the wind's picking up right away, as soon as we started going. Uh, it really started getting rough, so he told me to hold on. You can't really tell from the video, but it was really starting to get dark. And Scott had some really great equipment, radar, and different things that I don't have on my little boat. And I was wondering how I was going to make this trip out to the lighthouse. Well, I better pay attention because I'm going to be making this trip about a thousand times. So for some reason, Scott and Caden took a stroll around the back of the boat, and I was thinking, uh, wonder what would happen if they fell off. But uh, then, then I looked out ahead, and I could see a light or something that I thought maybe could be the lighthouse. But it turns out that was just the bridge, and we weren't even out into the open bay yet. The famous Hooper's Island Bridge looks a lot different from underneath. And then when we went through, we checked the instruments and we were still about three miles away from the lighthouse. From here. Three. Turns out the depth charts aren't very accurate, so you really have to keep an eye on your instruments and stay in the channel. Just when I started to think, hey, this isn't so bad, the weather really started to get rough. And I had to hold on. It reminded me of the old joke about the Chesapeake Bay. If you don't like the weather, just wait a minute. At this point, regardless of the weather, I was getting pretty excited about seeing the lighthouse for the first time. I had only seen it from land. I had never been out to the lighthouse. Getting a little brighter. There, right behind Kate, you can see right over here. <laughs> yeah, I let go for a second. I almost gave Scott a hug. Now I was thinking, I don't think I ever want to be out in these waves in my 25 foot Parker. And thankfully, the weather calmed down a little bit, and then there it was. 
first time coming out, seeing the lighthouse, and it happens to be a night in the rain, and it was a rough, it was a rough ride. I was amazed by this incredible structure that had been standing out in the middle of the bay for over 120 years through all kinds of weather. I wished that Scott could get close enough that I could just jump onto that ladder and climb up there and see what it's like inside. But I wanted to keep my promise to do that the following week. Definitely would not want to be trying to climb onto that ladder uh, in this weather. So when we come back here next week, we're going to come right up to it like this. And uh, hopefully it won't be won't be this rough. We'll be able to get right up there. Climb up there and show you guys what's inside. We went around a couple times and it just felt like a dream. And then it was time to go back. But I could not wait to get back out there again. No, Thomas, it's not munchies, it's wanchies. It's a city in North Carolina. They'll get it, it's fine. I don't think they will. They will.